Brilliant is one of the latest HomeKit supporters, adding HomeKit to their in-wall touch panels. Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider, and there are a ton of things that work with Brilliant. Things like the Hue light bulbs, the Ring security cameras, the August door lock, Sono systems, so many integrations. So even though HomeKit doesn't work with every aspect of Brilliant, it works with a lot of the things that you're going to already have in your smart home. These little units come in several different sizes between a single switch configuration or all the way up to a four switch configuration. And each of them above the single has two, three, or four channels on that right hand side to adjust different lights in the room. And you can of course see the actual screen here in the center that can also be used. There's some really cool gestures in play here, such as just being able to swipe your fingers up and down to turn lights on or off. In this kind of demo setup, when the lights come on, you'll see a white ring come around the edge, just like that, by just swiping up with your finger in the air and going back down to turn it off. If you use two fingers, you can actually do a little bit more. By sliding up and down on the screen, you can dim or brighten the lights. So let's go ahead and do all the lights in the room, two fingers just down in the air, every light in the room turns off, two fingers back up, and every light in the room comes on. Very, very cool. Here you can see those channels, how they're just touch sensitive, and as you move up and down, you increase that brightness on that light. In this case, we've configured that second uh, panel, that channel, to control some blinds, so as you move those up and down, they control these some feet blinds over here. As far as how HomeKit is integrated, it basically controls the switch that these things replace. So there it's one switch, two, three, four, all of those are what shows up in HomeKit. Right now that's a little bit limiting, there's not a ton you can do, but there is so many integrations here between tying into Spotify, Pandora, or Sonos, you can control your music here and play these back. You can see this right now is playing Spotify through our Sonos speakers on the other side of the room. Really easy way to control playback. Apple doesn't allow Siri to really be built into too many other third-party products, but this does have some Smart Assistant built in. It, of course, has Amazon Alexa, so I can just ask Alexa a question. I'm not going to say those magic words, but Alexa is listening. I'm asking her what the weather is like, and it knows where we are. It pulls up Las Vegas, Nevada. and has these cute little cards that are all interactive. I can swipe through and view kind of different days or different metrics. All these are similar cards that they've used to pull up on other like Echo devices like the Show or the Spot. Brilliance panels do have a built-in camera, which is really cool for this intercom feature. If I have another one in another room at the house, I can go ahead and pull up the intercom, and I can choose a device or room that I want to connect to, and here it's kind of coming through. You can see we've got someone else on the other side. It's a really great way to talk to people inside of your own house, but outside of your house, you can have things like doorbells, including the ring doorbells, which are integrated. Press the button, shows up here, you can talk to them. If you want, you can unlock the door. So here we have the August lock, it can just be unlocked right away from that intercom screen, talking to whoever's at the doorbell. Brilliant also says that they're working with Apple to get additional parts tied into HomeKit, like controlling scenes right from the panel, or even being able to tie in the camera into HomeKit so you can access that from within the Home app. But all of those are a little bit further down the line. Hopefully we'll hear more news about them soon. Brilliant is only slightly taller than a normal light panel and they have a bunch of different plates to go on the front so it can match your home's aesthetic. So what do you guys think of the Brilliant Smart Control light panel here? It does so many different things, ties in so many different aspects of your smart home. I don't mind that not everything is HomeKit enabled, but I'm definitely going to want to play with this thing more. I may have to pick up one or two for my own home. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you in the next video.